Yes, good morning. It's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's day is Sunday, the 11th of December 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. This is dedicated to my main man, Greg, over at the Building Blocks podcast so that he can enjoy his coffee in style while he's listening to my chart show. Rock and roll. Here we go. Right. I always look forward to this. So we've got CoolCoin BTC SegWit protocol with a fundamental value of precisely zero. Currently with a speculative price at 17,168. That's gonna hurt. We've got Big Crash 109, what a joke, Fisher Price Cash, who cares? But then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block, it hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth, because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. Oh yeah. Right, so we've got BSV, the most valuable commodity on earth. Yours today for just $44. Oh, that's actually looking quite good, actually, $44. Uh, we've seen 43 for the past few days, but now it actually says 44. Loving that. Uh, right, so we've got a hash rate, 0.27. It's gone down a bit. Let's just check that, shall we? Uh, yeah, okay, hash rate just uh, gone down a bit there. That's all right. Numbers correlate. That's all right. Nothing to panic about. Uh, network nodes, 0.5, oh, it's gone up a little bit actually, they're normally like, point, well, they probably haven't actually gone up, percentage wise it's gone up because I think BTC miners are turning off, uh, so 0.5, you know, every little helps. Uh, transactions though, 78.07, let's have a look at that comparative, that's quite low, let's have a look at that comparatively, oh, oh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Uh, but we know what it's capable of. I mean, XRP is such a load of crap. They literally just maxed out the number of transactions that they could do on the network and just kept it there. It's all fake. It's all absolute crap. And Ethereum, I mean, what? You're talking like $80 per transaction, something insane? <laughs> it's such a it's such a joke. And if anybody's seen the, uh, the recent post that uh, the Ethereum Foundation has actually uh, frozen the timeline for uh, state ETH, so uh, uh, holders of it or possessors of it uh, won't be able to have no idea when they're going to be able to get it back or access it. <laughs> Somebody described it as a rug pull. Dear, dear. Would you believe it? In fact, let's see if I can find that. Um, yeah, let, let me see if I can find that. Hold on one second. Just for shites and giggles. Why not? Here we go. Uh, I think it was a LinkedIn post. Uh, oh, that, that's hilarious. Charles Hoskins. Honestly, does anybody know anyone working at Cardano? It's such a load of crap. Uh, there we go. That's the one. <laughs> Somebody was living at this. There, look. They said, uh, uh, we aren't talking about the biggest scam in crypto. Everyone is talking about FTX, but the Ethereum Foundation just basically rugged everyone that staked their ETH for ETH 2.0 rewards before the merge. At the moment, investors can't withdraw their staked or earned ETH. The Ethereum Foundation quietly erased the timeline that they had on their website for the people who staked their ETH for uh, ETH 2.0 rewards. Honestly, I, stay, how stupid have you got to be? This is meant to be like, you know, uh, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Decentralized, you know, <laughs> and everybody's like staking it. Oh dear. Uh, now everyone's ETH is stuck in a smart contract with no roadmap or timeline for when they'll be getting their assets back. It's shocking that many people aren't talking about this. Well, you know, nobody wants to spread the bad news, do they? You know, but I mean, if you're going to chuck like hundreds of thousands of dollars at something that, you know, a spotty little kid uh, created, like honestly, honestly. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, block size though, look at that, the amount of data coming on chain, uh, still 90%, loving that. Uh, let's have a look at these block uh, blocks coming through then. Uh, yeah, relatively small in comparison to what we used to. The biggest one, 224. Honestly, though, I mean, I remember the days when we were, uh, you know, sort of celebrating four megabyte blocks. Now we're on gigabyte blocks, and uh, 224 doesn't seem all that big. <laughs> oh, dear. How times have changed, eh? And expectations change. Right, hash rate. 
So yeah, with me, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Boom. Remember, if something is useless, it's worthless. If something is useful, it's valuable. It's as simple as that. Uh, proof of work by network again bitcoin is the only one that's got any true value so it's all going to come over uh, it's currently 23,057 times cheaper to transact on bitcoin than cool coin it's five percent more profitable to mine on sv we'll take that nice one daily average bitcoin block size by network i mean bitcoin absolutely smashing it uh, transactions by network again bitcoin smashing it in comparison to these uh, other you know uh, uh bitcoin shitcoin chains a daily average Bitcoin transactions per block by network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fees USD. Look at that. Look at that. Sub cent fees on Bitcoin. Let's have a look at the Satoshis. Look at that right down there. Absolutely smashing these other shit coins out of the water. Uh, daily Bitcoin fee to block award ratio. So the red line here is going to be very similar to. No, not that one. That one. There we go. So as the block award gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks, which is every four years, eventually the block fee will surpass the block, will surpass the block award, and then we have an economically self-sustaining system, which is what we are gunning for. Beautiful. Um, here we go. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network sort of plateaued a little bit. Uh, just be interesting to see what's going on there. All right, let's have a look at uh, hash rate then. But before we do that. Let's have a look at difficulty adjustments. Oh, yep, so let's just come down a little bit. All right, interesting. Right, global hash rate, seven days. Still founder US April, that's MasterCard, 23.9%. Global hash rate, uh, 24 hours. Ant pool taking the lead a little bit. Uh, cool coin hash rate, so yeah, founder US April up there. Others with 2%, that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, B crash, what a joke. Honestly, Satoshi Nakamoto is going to have no mercy for these people. They have no excuse whatsoever. It hasn't even, it's not like they've even been hoodwinked by the name. They are literally true backstabbers. They've got no excuse. And uh, Fisher Price Cash, honestly, just what a joke. And then we have Bitcoin. Oh, Dutch mining and pro hashing, fancying a little bit this morning. Uh, interesting. Uh, let's just, oh, so it's 5% more, it's 5% more profitable to mine on SV right now. Uh, Tau chomping away with, uh, 53% of the hash rate. Calvin will be pleased. Uh, but again, the reason the hash rate is being managed is because we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain. And the reason we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain is because the only thing they understand is dollar worshipping, which leads on to price manipulation, which we will look at now in the short positions. Oh, look at that dropping off a cliff. Look at that. Beautiful. So they're going to be being closed on uh, December the 19th now. Short ratio, 75%. Yeah. Jam. But the, um, oh, the the longs are also going down. Um, I, would, I would have expected the longs to be going up, actually. Uh, as, uh, yeah, because, I mean, this is, this is all price related. So, I mean, look, the, the actual, the price, the price of Bitcoin is going up. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, because the price has gone up here, uh, the longs have gone down there. But uh, when sentiment changes, the longs are going to rocket the long, in terms of its long-term uh, perspective. So, the reason the longs have gone down is because the price has gone up in the short term. So, therefore, longs are going down in the short term. Fools. Utter fools. Um... But, I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's a, that would have shaken a few uh, short positions out of the market. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy. But, I mean, look at that. Even the long positions are correlated. Look, it's all it's all dirty trading bots. Honestly. And they will be shaken out of the market. All these shysters will be shaken out of the market. I, I can assure you that. I won't guarantee it, but I can assure you of it. Uh, here we go. This is cool coin. I mean, look at this Segwit protocol. Uh, fundamental, fundamentally, absolutely, utterly worthless, and yet they've uh, giving it just a, a short ratio of 6.4. So in other words, like a, a 93.5% uh, long 
Uh, <laughs> can you imagine longing? Can you imagine longing BTC after it's come down for 70,000? Currently at 17. You know, honestly, it's such a joke. It's such a... But it, it's, it's, inter- it's interesting watching market sentiment. Um, I mean, oh... I mean, there are going to be people crying. There's so much ego in the space when they find out that they are wrong. Can you imagine? Oof, my goodness me. All right, for any newbies watching the show, these are the mining operations. This is the backbone to the new global financial system. The world's first ever commercial internet blows my mind every time. All this developed from one simple nine-page white paper. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Uh, coin carbon cap then, here we go. So currently uh, Bitcoin with 1,867 transactions per megawatt hour. Uh, and in second place, Bit- uh, Bcrash with just 14. And then uh, Core Coin 1.2, that's going down, honestly. <laughs> right, let's have a look at protocols then. Data size, Metroid D just producing 992 megabytes. They used to be in the um, gigabyte range, like, like 10, 11 gigabytes. Uh, so that's gone down a bit of a shame. Run protocol, so there's 12,323. Mm, that so that's an indication of uh, crypto fights. Let's have a look at this. Uh, data size, oh, my two cents, still producing 145 megabytes of uh, data. And uh, 660,000 uh, transactions. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so look at that. So uh, my two cents producing 660,000 transactions. But uh, with a uh, with an output volume of just three dollars and sixty four cents, whereas uh, Twitch, um, just four thousand uh, six hundred thirty nine. But yeah, it's saying it's uh, got a volume output of ninety nine thousand uh, dollars over a twenty four hour period. Uh, yeah, I might have to get to the bottom of that. Uh, one of the guys at Twitch want to uh, just fill me in on the information I'm missing here. That'd be great. Um, peer games like uh, Certi Hash. Oh, that's gone down a bit. That was like second place. Uh, Vinex now at 19,000. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Cent B. Oh, 23 transactions. Hmm. Uh, looking for hand cash to appear, to, uh, appear on there one day. Be interesting to see, really, with all the uh, pew pew transactions going on. Hmm. Uh, crypto quant. Oh, look at this! Look at this exchange is dumping their bags, dumping their bags. My goodness me! Like literally letting go like it's hot coal. Have you ever seen anything like this? Look at that! Look at that! So this is the B- B- uh, BTC all exchanges reserves. Look, they do not want that shit. They are getting rid of it. Wow. You know, again, they are the, uh, they've got the most skin in the, well, yeah, one of the, some of the biggest uh, skin in the game, the most to lose, big bag holders, dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear, uh, that's a huge indicator. <laughs> uh, what's on chain? Uh, so, yeah, transaction volume to 794,816 over 24 hours. Let's have a look at live coin watch uh, coin. So the total market cap eight hundred sixty-seven billion dollars. Honestly, what a joke. Um, BTC market cap three hundred thirty billion. Um, trade volume just uh, two point one. Oh, that is low. That's really low. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, approximately ten uh, percent. Uh, 360 million bids versus 373 million asks. Price on its way down uh, right now. Mm, all right. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Where are we now? Are we on this? Oh, we're on this page. We'll take that. Great stuff. There we go. Volume just 1.7. Uh, market cap 841. Um... Looks like we had a price spike just sort of 24 hours ago that they registered. Oh, look at this. Uh, price on its way up right now. Lovely jubbly. We'll take that. Here we go. Let's get into the price. Let's have a look at this. Look at, see, look there. Look at that. Right down, right back up. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Um, let's have a quick look. So on the hour, 
four hours. See how we look. You know, somebody is effing around with the price. There is definitely price effery going on here. Um, so I, yeah, you actually get to see more in the uh, in this in this day chart. Like you can see that they're trying to pull the price down. Um, and again, they're just effing around with the price. Uh, so where, as soon as it goes up, it sort of comes back down. It, it, it looks to me like somebody. It looks to me like the price is being defended, because someone is trying to trying to make it volatile. They're pushing the price up, you know, trying to get traders in. Then they're pushing the price down again, trying to drag the price down. They're trying to do everything to f around with the price, but it's relatively stable. You know, I mean, uh, that's on the week. Let's have a look at that on the month. You know, that's that is strong. That looks very stable. Uh, it, it looks stable, but it looks like somebody is purposely trying to make it unstable. So it looks to me like there are two competing forces here. One nefarious entity trying to disrupt the price and one uh, a good entity um, defending it. That's what it looks like to me. I think this is great. Get the popcorn ready. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's have a look at CoinGecko then. Oh, 16 minutes has gone already. How are we doing? 85% feeling good. We'll take that. Oh, got to look at the tether weather. Can't not look at the tether weather. See what's going on. Let's have a look at the market count. Oh, solid over. Oh, solid over a day yet. Okay. Price increases over seven days again. I mean, somebody trying to defend the BTC price, you know, and not doing a very good job. Struggling, struggling. Is all we can say to that. So this is uh, Bitcoin versus uh, BTC Core Coin. We had a huge spike in the price uh, back in uh, end of November. Uh, so this is Core Coin versus USD yeah, bobbing along. Uh, and this is a uh, Bitcoin a USD. Yeah, we just it don't really, mm, not really a very clear chart that one. Uh, Silverfish. How many views? 17,784 views. Looking good. Uh, have a watch of that, see what we make of it. Uh, Farmer's Food Supply Money video. Oh, 911 views. Fantastic. That's going to be approaching 1,000. Loving that. There we go. That's the end of the show. Hope you enjoyed it. That feeling when you know Bitcoin is BSV. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.